You need a Puerto Rican skag peddler? It's six years I've been with you, Wops. I've saved you guys from big junk collars that trace lost stuff for fingered stools. I've even gone on special assignments for you, Nick. <laughs> and you're telling me you need Bobby Tex? He runs a good operation, Mike. Why don't we wait a while? we we'll see if we can straighten this out. If, if you had a square asshole, you shit bricks. I don't want to hear that shit. Hey, watch your mouth. What, are you going to put on your Al Capone's face? What, do you want to step out right now? You want a guns right here? You want to go in the kitchen with knives? Huh? You're talking to me. I chew up, you fucking wife. Get out, fat damn it. What? Come on, my friend. We old friends here. Why are you so angry? I'll tell you why, Nick. Because I know you fucking guys, you'd crawl over your dying mother to fuck your sister. But when I need you, me, a fucking heart. Oh, I know how you talk about me. I get this, he runs a good operation. Shit. Huh? I'm telling you, Nick. If I go down on this one, I'm taking everybody with me. Huh? And listen, if you're thinking of taking me out, they got this new assistant, D.A. Riley. He's a real choir boy. He likes me. He thinks I'm hot shit. He gets a big envelope the first day I don't show up for work. Mike is right. Yeah, what, what are we talking about here? This uh, Bobby Texas big stool pigeon? We're gonna lose a man like Mike here for that. Bury him, Hank. Larry, you set it up. You're close to him. We'll get on it tonight, Nick. Done. You see, Mike, no reason to get angry.